Okay, recording is running. Should we start the game? No, 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 not yet. Let's first go to the armies. We start okay, with peace just wait, wait, that. wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> hi. Um, hi. New, um, replay commentary. And I have here my clan mates, Mo and Sparky. Say hi, guys. <laughs> you start, Sparky. <What's> <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> so, okay. Mo, just talk about this replay file, man. Okay, this is an old replay file, I guess about 2015 or 16. Okay. We have three titans. On the left, we have Beast. And uh, he's taking Carthage, even though we're facing against three Romans. Oh. He has six uh, cavalry, sacred band, gold, gold, twix, beyond. And four slingers, gold attack. And the rest are pikes, that's 10 pikes. Then we have Alita. Alita has 14.6. Okay. Most of the upgrades are on the Cav Gold Gold to XP. Uh, Cav? Yeah. Okay. And finally, I am playing with Greeks. I have 2, 4, 6 uh, Cretans and the rest Spartans. Mm -hmm. On the other side, facing Beast, we have Ezrax. He has 2 Archers and 4 Cav and 14 Urbans. Okay. Next to him, Bend. We have uh, five Cav, one, yeah, one Archer, and the rest are infantry. Who, who is this guy? Uh, bend there is an old guy he used to play. Uh, I don't think he plays now. Okay. Was he good? I will see. <laughs> he was okay. Yeah, he was good. <laughs> Finally, um, we have uh, an Omidian. Omidian is a buddy of mine in the Heaven Clan. He has two archers and how many? Three, four. I think 15. he might have. Yeah. No, no, he has, he has cap, yeah. He has yeah. Yeah, three cap, three hidden cap. He has three hidden cap. Yeah, he has 15 uh, urbans and two archers. Okay. So probably three hidden cap. Yeah. So. Okay. Should we. Let's start the game on three. Okay. Okay. One. Two, three. Not one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not clear, man. <laughs> to clear till three past quarter, okay. quarter past three. <laughs> you went. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard. Okay. So the uh, the game starts right on the left flank. The median is far on the right. Me too. I'm going. Yeah, Rita is going to the middle. Beast has four slingers. And he's leaving the fucking slingers, man. He's leaving them away with nothing. He took the cab, he took the infantry to the right. So Ezrax <laughs> will go with his cab to get the slingers, of course. What was your uh, game plan for yeah. this? Well, in this, we, uh, I don't believe we had a game plan. This was like, uh, I want to fight Rome with Karsif. <laughs> so do whatever the fuck you want. I just want to kill Rome with Karsif. So, actually, he doesn't give a shit about his slingers, because his slingers are only gold attack. And uh, all he needed was to kill infantry. So Yeah, I mean, if anything, it's distracting Ezra's cav right now. Yeah. Which looks so like... cav went to the uh, left, Ben sending two cav, and here's a three cav from the middle. They came. Uh... Also, Lita is sending his cav, and Ezrax split his infantry. Now look at this fucking charge from Beast. Oh gosh, yeah. And he's moving his infantry. Still. Yeah, he's moving his infantry a bit forward. But he actually wanted to stop the infantry of Ezrax, and only to get the uh, yeah, a charge and from then, Lita. Yeah, Lita is coming in now. Yeah. Ah, that's also a nice push with the infantry blocking the other... Um, yeah, he's blocking the infantry so that they don't come. Cav are coming, so they have to get out. I don't think Ezra needed to send his other armies out to these slingers. Yeah, half his infantry is a mistake. He only have four Cav against four slingers, one for each, and that's it. Yeah. Half his infantry was a mistake to send them there. Even though he only lost like two, three maybe, infantry. 
now. Ben's glitching right now. Yeah, because I'm glitching in this game. This is on uh, Steam? Yeah, of course, it's Steam. Yeah. Uh, the second thing the beast did is he engaged, if you look at Ben's infantry. And there's Rex's yeah. infantry on the left. None of these urbans uh, used to be that. Yeah. So Carthage still have some good numbers. And now he He's, comes... Yeah. Ezra's infantry is going to be isolated back here. Ezra sent his infantry, Beast and Delita sending some infantry, and Delita is going for a charge. The enemy general, the general. Press so that the And nice. most people here would get out with the cab, but Beast decided they are not to go for the rest of the infantry. <laughs> Make a fucking charge and through the back, and he ends up routing at six units. Yeah, wow. Yeah, five, six units. That was wow. good. And now he got his cap out. Uh, they are blobbing in the middle. So you on started the, attacking Nam. Yeah, on the right side. On the other side. Yeah. But the median has his formation. He's gonna be like, he's gonna studio. So I'm going to get my infantry out of this other side, to be honest. I decided to send my infantry on the left, to help these guys. And also, if Numidian moves to the left, I have six Cretans shooting his back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they aren't even shooting your Cretans as well. They're fully... No. Fully healthy. Yeah, so I disengaged my infantry on the right and decided to go to the left. I mean, so yeah, that's a good move. So much infantry engagement, but they haven't used their pillar at all. I mean, at no. least on the center and on the <coughs> left flank. Yeah, they haven't used the pillar. All of Macedon are in good numbers. Um, yeah. It started and chaotic, we'll... and they didn't know how to respond. Mm. Now we're sending all of our cav to our left. Now you see, uh, Elite is charging the cav. Beast is pretending to charge the cav and he's going to go for the infantry. Mm -hmm. And he left Elite to stop the cav. Got two units routed and his general is dead. This loss is hard for us. The leaders have a gold to XP, so he have bowed pretty well. Most Macedonian calves would bow way before that. So I'm going with the infantry on the far left, and I'm defending on the right. The medians infantry are doing nothing, they're just getting shot. Yeah, he's, he's slowly sending guys over, but I don't know. I feel like the damage has been done yeah. on this flank for sure. And you're shooting his infantry very bad, man. Yeah, I'm not shooting him. I'm actually not... I don't care about his infantry. Oh, my archers. I just put them on me now. Or to attack on the left. And these fucking cav... They sound like fucking <laughs> cataphrag. They don't die. <laughs> his slingers are still alive, too. Yeah, his slingers are still alive. He has at least two slingers alive and the third one is depleted. So we lost one slinger. So you're attacking on the right now? Yeah, I decided to go for the right now. And I'm attacking on the left. I've, I haven't seen a litter plane before. He's good with spikes. My well, litter's okay with spikes. He doesn't do big fancy moves with spikes, but he knows how to defend. Yeah. He was a good player. And now Beast used his uh, cavalry to chase uh, the archers. I have no idea how the fuck his infantry are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you said, he managed to... He managed to avoid a ton of Pila. So. Yeah, he managed to avoid actually all of the Pila. He's... He's just basically using pikes against yeah. urbans. Even though we have destroyed like uh, most of Ezra's army and all of the cavs, 
uh, they still have advantage on uh, on our right when yeah. it comes to yeah 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 urban's a fucking strong man also you're playing in a you're quite spread out for pikes so yeah. i mean it would give them an opportunity to win if you guys only if you have cav yeah that's true actually all their is all their cav gone yeah all the cav is gone damn that's why i started attacking on right yeah now we need to send them pikes yeah, the middle is it's not actually facing anything like four units isolated and my infantry are blobbed on the left because yeah, I'm probably just focusing on the right right now. And the Zaquitans don't have any ammo left, so I'm gonna use them. Yeah, get them in there. Yeah, maybe Numidian had to play a little bit more aggressive on the left side. Not right now, but a little bit like before. Yeah, being aggressive against Spartans with Urbans takes time. Even if you kill yeah. the Spartans, you'll need a lot of time. And I'll just keep falling back. And if he sends uh, urbans to the left side, then my Cretans are shooting his back as he moves. Yeah, and Beast has his slingers behind them now. So yeah. He's getting good shots. Yeah, I'm sending my uh, archers to attack from their backs. These fucking good archers, they don't matter. It's just a matter of time now. Yeah, I liked how Beast gone aggressive. I mean, you can't just wait, room, come and pillar you. Yeah. Yeah, if you play defensive in this uh, kind of matchup, you're going to lose. So we won the left, and the middle is almost gone. And we're winning on the right side as well. Thanks to the Cretan archers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's an archer's fighting Gerbers, man. And look at these slingers, he's fucking chasing Gerbers. <laughs> <laughs> and he still yeah. has Cav, he has one, the two, enemy army is in flight. three Cav, four Cav, yeah. even five. The guy still has five Cav. Yeah. It was, a, it was a good game, I liked these fuck it mentality he just kind of yeah <laughs> went for it most people won't go for a charge like the one he did because they say okay that charge was you kill a lot of my cav and i want to come to chasing well but it only works if, if if ezra wasn't moving yeah beast might have lost his cav yeah even if ezra stopped his urbans and faced the uh, the charge from beast Beast's cab wasn't the uh, the main attack. It was the Macedonian cab coming from yeah. the back? Yeah. He just got lucky because there was no there was no peeler at all, which is yeah. obviously really good. I find that as a replay, guys, if you want to do this again. Yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah, um, I feel like it's for. Ezra messed this game up. Sorry, Ezra, but you fucked it up. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it, mainly there was no point to chase those slingers with like half of the infantry. Yeah. And at, and at some point they were already warmed up when they started chasing or something. And, yeah. I think he did it. He did that because he expected Beast to bring his cav over to support. Yeah, and yeah he thought yeah. like normal guys would try to defend the archers. Would be a better yeah. word. Oh, beast is crazy, he doesn't give a fuck about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good game. Yeah. That was fun. I mean, I've heard that many people say Beast is an aggressive player. Um, I mean, I like that he's that confident that it will work. And he's just making the team just go for whatever he's doing. Yeah, that's mostly how we rush this beast. We'll just go and maybe one of us or him. Yeah, me, him or Hades, we would do the first charge. Again, it's mostly moving urbans. 
And even if we get countered, we have like uh, 12 cav to counter the counter. So we get an initial mass route, and it's an easy game from there. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Like in the first five minutes already, the, <laughs> the game and was that was almost over, yeah. Yeah. In about the first five, few minutes. Yeah. yeah I hope he sees this replay and decides to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he should he should be sent. That people are still just talking about based and how he's playing. <coughs> yeah. yeah, it was a fun game. Yeah, that was fun. I'm gonna stop recording and probably maybe just now we can keep on with some more replays if you have some more. Okay. Okay. Bye, and, guys. And so far. <laughs> Who is going to tell the, the subscribe, comment, and like? You. <laughs> no, no, no. no. This is also the privilege of the guest commentators. <laughs> no, not me. You do it, Spark. Okay, Spark, go for it. Okay, well, you guys should subscribe to Pag. He's a very good player. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you'll enjoy his content. Okay, guys, thanks. <laughs>